with Castle Siege. Yeah. I mean, to be real, man, sometimes when I be thinking about it, I, would, I feel like I would rather have Castle Siege on than Lilac. But then some jank happens on Castle Siege, and I'm like, okay, well, everything. Yeah, yeah, this isn't this is much better than Lilac. Alrighty, gonna be going on to FD here. Uh, it's Kogura Suma, not Kogura Masu. I had, I had the letters mixed up. Sorry about that, everybody. But we're going to be going into this match here. Kogura Suma. That's an anime name if I ain't never heard of. <laughs> so here we are, man. Kogura Suma with the uh, Lucina and then Earth with the Corrin. I actually saw Earth's Corrin earlier today. Uh, actually kind of had a, a little bit of a problem against Silver Fox. And then he switched over back to his pit. So he's kind of disqualified himself from at least releasing the curse. But... You know, we'll see how great this corn does this time around against Koga. All right, I guess Anera at the ledge. Right now, getting a lot of good control. Just able to pick out all of the options that Koga Rasuma is trying to do. Yeah. Just to turn around on the side B. An aggressive option coming out from Koga Rasuma to make it back to the stage. Or just content to space away these backwares. And another space backer that will be able to take the stock. Only 23% onto Earth so far. Really consistent and good control coming from Earth, just slowly eating away that damage and able to get that situation where you can get that stock. All right. All right. Great punish right there. That, that move, I mean, realistically, I know it is uh, an easily punishable move, but, like, a lot of people try to go for, like, the strongest smash that's a little slow and it gets power shielded. So you got to go for a quick punish, but you do get some guaranteed damage anytime it hits your shield. Yeah. Another space back air does not get the insta pin. Just runs up and gets the grab. Kogura Suma definitely in the close quarters, just holding shield a lot, allowing Earth to get these openings. Right, Kogura has an opportunity to try and make something happen. And actually, the Dolphin Slash in the back air, I think he was waiting for the uh, stage fight situation, but just flew right into the position for the back air. And so he's able to take that stock and try and roll away with a little bit of a comeback here, already getting on the overlap in the percents. That would have been a beautiful uh, down air had he managed to hit that. It's really hard to hit that down there and get the actual spike, though. I mean, I think there's only one frame of a spike, you know, like a spike on it. So, yeah, it's a real problem trying to get it. But regardless, I mean, it still does a lot of damage. So, I can't be too mad about that. All right, gets in there. Just trying to fish for a juggle, but Earth having a little bit of a hard time trying to find something. I feel like every now and then Earth is reading a bit too far into the future. Yeah. And then it's just like missing these reads. So it's, it's like, like a lot. yeah, it's two next level. Right there, I feel like if he would have did a double jump, he would have definitely got that that tippered pin to finish this game. So either way, man, 94% to this 59. Looks for another tippered pin right there, but does not get it. Oh, that time the fade back. I like it. Yeah, just jumps away. Gets that perfect spacing. Got him at the ledge once more. Power shields right through that back air. Does not want to die to it a second time. I think right now Koga is depending a little bit too much on the dancing blade. It's starting to get him punished. Power uh, Shield's coming from both sides, gets the grab. He actually goes for the fourth throw. I thought maybe an up throw might have been able to do it, but the back air is going to close out that stock of the ledge anyway. All right. So this time is uh, Korn looking a little more polished than last time i seen it. Some great stuff here to Earth. Yeah, Koga, right there near the end, I felt like he was kind of betting on the side B a little bit too much, and uh, it, was, it was taking a toll on him. You know, he almost lost his stock a couple times to some pins because of that exact reason, and he still kept going for it. Uh, but, you know, let's see what, if he can make those adjustments in that second game, get himself on to the board against Earth, or will this be the end of his tournament run? We got the character stretch coming from Koga right now. He's thinking he's definitely going, and going for the corn, actually. We're getting the ditto out right now. He's going to be waiting on the stage. And we got the music counter pick, actually. You can't see it on the stream right now, but they are definitely looking through all oh, of them. Oh, please turn that off. Yeah, as he knows, Lost in My Thoughts All Alone is not a good song. Thank you. <laughs> it's not a good song, y'all. You anime. Everyone's all like, oh, no, he turned it back up. No. <laughs> I feel like I got baited. It, it's, it's actually on full blast. <laughs> I'm sick. I need someone else to come and hit the set. <laughs> Yeah, right, I, I'll, I'll run a solo, TK. Don't I, worry. I used to, I used to like this song until I realized it was just like it's so sad, and I don't want to fight to this sad stuff. Now I know everyone's gonna be like, "But you like Swan Lesson?" I, 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 I unironically like Swan Lesson, not for fighting, but because you know when you get duck hunt, people are trying to camp. No one's trying to camp on this stage. I want to see some fights. I'm not getting that right now. Man. I mean, let, let's just at least agree it's a pretty good song on its own. So. By its own, I'm, I'm all right with it.
To fight to, though? Nah. Give, right. me some, give me some anime openings. <laughs> All right, so. Put Attack on Titan's <laughs> anime opening over here. <laughs> oh, and the tip or four smash coming from Kogura. Tried getting the dare, it looked like, but not able to find it. Down smash four, down smash Earth, gaining the better half of it, though. Man, all kind of dragon fangs coming out right now. I'll try to find the back air, not quite. Down smash again, set to semi spike. Let's see what kind of edge guard he gets. So he doesn't get the ledge, but again, another back air, and Earth has just been rolling away with these ledge options. Yeah. That, that ledge option back here uh, has really been paying off. Looks for the counter, but unfortunately, managed to grab the ledge before the action hitbox comes out. So, Pogo Rasuma still has to fight this stock off of Earth right now. All right, landing there, just not get the up air a little bit too out, too far outside the range. Trying to invade that space right now. Not gonna be able to find it. Just jumps over these dragon shots. Playing really careful, gets in there, calls out that jump. So they get the side beat to reset another less situation. Kicks his way through, and now Koko Rasuma trying to kick his way through the stock a little off of uh, the position that he needs to actually get it. But 128 right here, that was a good option to try to go for, you know, the perfectly spaced tippered F smash. And it's pretty safe on shield as well, so. Still though, 135 to the 73, it's not looking too great. So Koka. Oh, just jab, jab, but it doesn't follow up with anything else. Are they able to get that grab? You got another throw. grab at the ledge. Yeah. There it is. You saw him look for another back air, would have ended another stock. However, this time Koko Rasuma coming on to the ledge more aggressive than he has before. All right, let's see what Earth tries to find. Not even able to get anything and gets the side B, able to take out that stock. Koga still got a chance at life here, but the way Earth's playing, just amazing control and great options at the ledge. Might be okay. curtains for Koga very soon. Essentially, comes down with the downer, looks for the uh, pin right there, but does not actually get it. But also, great option for him to swing away. You know, he could have swung back, try to uh, swung back and try to get aggressive. However, I feel like he would have got hard punished for that. So, he gets a grab. Actually, back throw is an interesting option coming out from Earth. Doesn't want to reset a ledge option. Yeah, kind of returning back to neutral there. All right, fourth throw this time. Okay, almost got the back in the same situation he keeps getting. I'm surprised Coco Rosuma is still getting up uh, regular after he's been hit by that so many times. Yeah, I, maybe it's just a little hope. It's like, maybe this time I won't get hit. It's been happening, but just lands with the yeah. neutral B, able to get that stock. He didn't even charge that. He didn't even charge the bite. Like, he had that much damage on him that he didn't even need to charge the bite. So it was like, chomp. Yep, chomp, chomp, real quick. And there it is. Earth will be moving on into the gauntlet as well. Great uh, showing of the corn this time around. Yeah, so Earth moving on to bracket. Very, very good stuff to him. Kind of showed up Kogura there. All right, trying to see who's coming up next. I mean, uh, great, great showing again from Koga. You know, obviously he made it pretty far into this bracket.